you know, we've been talking a lot about insurance, right? But insurance is only good if you can actually use it and access care that, that, you know, this insurance covers. So let's talk a little bit about what are some of the other barriers to care outside of just having insurance or access to insurance. So like what else, what else can kind of impede people's access to getting the care that they need, particularly when we're thinking of cancer? Well, of course, as you said, I think of uh, coverage as being necessary, not sufficient to making sure that people get the care they need. Again, what people need most importantly is a trusted provider, right? So their doctor, their nurses, people in their communities and who are able to see them and treat them uh, it's also, again, these, uh, what I like to call the ancillary or the healthcare adjacent services. So making sure that people get, um, are asked about things like, are you, do you have secure and affordable housing? Do you have access to the food that you need? Some of these things that really can affect your ability to access the care, because it's not, of course, just about your health care. It's about who you are as a person. And that's been an area of focus for the entire administration and certainly here at CMS to encourage uh, opportunities, whether it's through state Medicaid programs, whether it's through our models, uh, to, to make sure that people are getting uh, that full range of services.